Hi guys, I'm back. I'm sorry I didn't do one Monday. It got kind of late for me. We're doing some things, so I didn't, Mimi didn't get a chance to do a video Monday. But I'm back this Saturday and we're going to do a, I know Valentine's is over, but you can do Valentine crafts all February. I love to do them. So you're going to need some cardstock for this craft. Paint any color you want. I chose red or heart. Um, a paper plate to put your paint on. And da 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 da. What are we going to paint with? Something different today. A piece of this is foil, tin foil. Isn't that interesting? We're going to see what kind of paint creation it makes, okay? So, first, you're going to draw a heart on your cardstock. If kids are doing this by themselves, they may need a little help, especially because this can even be a toddler or a baby activity with someone helping them dip the paint but with littler babies, but toddlers, they can do this. I think my grandsons, um, Casey and Rowan, would love this activity, so I'm hoping that they do this one with their mamas. I think they'll have fun. And it doesn't have to be cardstock. I just picked cardstock because... It is a little more durable, so um, like if the paint doesn't seep through as much and um, maybe it lasts a little longer being painted. Okay, so here's my heart that I made. I like it. I like the heart I made. And then I'm using paper towels too to put on my work surface so I do not make a big mess. I'm not trying to make a bigger mess to clean up. So just crumple up your, take your tin foil. I had it like that. And then just crumple it up any way you want. Crumple it up. It can be different, all different ways. You can crumple it, recrumple it. You'll have paint on you, but you can recrumple it. I'm gonna put a little paint on my on my plate just like that. That's probably too much, but it's okay. A little bit. And then I'm gonna take my tin foil. I might get it on my hands if you don't mind getting messy. It's not a big deal. See, there's my paint on there. Now I'm gonna just push it on the heart. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like what it's doing. It's kind of making like dots on my heart. I really like that. And it's the texture of the, the kids get to experience the texture of the tin foil. You can talk to them about how it feels. This tin foil feels rough. And what color is it? It's silver. And what color paint did I use? I used red. See how many things you can talk about with this? It's so much fun. So I'm just gonna do a few more splatters because I like the way my heart is looking. And I'm just doing like this, painting it, okay? But you can do it anyway. They, they can do it. It's their creation if they wanna rub on it. It kind of makes, hear it, a noise. That might be fun. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready to present my heart to you that I made with tin foil and paint. Isn't that really cool? I like it. It's like a splatter paint kind of thing. So pretty. I really love it. It turned out really pretty. I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys do this craft and I hope my grandsons do this with their moms. It's so much fun. Any Like I said, any color paint you have, any paper, it doesn't have to be cardstock. It's just a little more durable with the paint, I've noticed. So that's what we're doing. So Mimi's going to sign off for now. It was a quick, easy one today. Maybe I'll go into more depth tomorrow, or it'll just be different. I don't know. Oh, tomorrow's reading. Yeah, I'll read another love story, okay? So I'm going to sign out for now, but I'm going to be back tomorrow, and we will read another love story, okay? Because it's still February, okay? Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow on Mimi's Adventures. Bye.